Here we are at the Tecumseh A&W Cruise Night, and the band is just warming up. Our friend Mary is out with the A&W Bear inspecting the parking lot as the cars arrive. They're all backing in, noses out. Here's a neat looking bright red Ferrari. And a little Deuce Coupe, 32 Ford. And the hits just keep on coming. Not every car here is an old one. Here's a newer car with a custom paint job. Looks mighty fine. This is a Willys kit car, but there's nothing kit about the engine. It's a real mover and shaker. A little Cobra with a 427 and a 4-speed. There's Nick's 59 Caddy way down at the end of all those pickup trucks. And here's that 68 AMX with the factory dual quads and four speed that you saw in an earlier slideshow. They didn't make many of these, probably under a hundred. This evening was built as a Chrysler cruise night, but it was open to everybody. This is a really nice 36 Plymouth. Love those gangster white walls. And here's another little Cobra with a 427 and a 4 speed. And another Willys with a lot of show and go. How's that for an engine? This may not exactly qualify as a hot rod, even though it's surrounded by them. Here's that cool car that I like so much. You've seen this one before. It is very nice. This is a 58 Ford. It's a sedan delivery. This hot rod and trailer were really well done. What a nice job. This looks to be a 37 or 38 Ford. I know this one is a 37 Ford. Everyone now is waiting for the out-of-towners to arrive. Cars are coming in from Toronto for the evening. And here they come. I was surprised to see an American car in the tour. The owner tells me they joined the tour in Brandon, Manitoba, and they've had a great time enjoying all the hospitality. Some of these cars came all the way from Ontario and driven to Vancouver only to drive in the cross-country tour all the way back again. This looks like a pretty standard classic car, but just wait. It's fitted out with a pretty hefty looking V8 engine, and the interior is super comfortable. Nothing like the original.
There were three cars in the cross-country tour almost identical. This is one of them. This is another. There's another one around someplace. Not sure if I got a photo of it or not. Here's a 1932 Chevy. What's remarkable is all of these cars are in such beautiful condition. That's pretty well it for the out-of-towner cars. We'll come back to more of them later, but these next few photos are of local cars. This looks to be a 47 Ford business coupe. And here's a neat Avante. Originals like this are getting pretty rare. It's only natural there should be an Oldsmobile or two at any cruise night. And here's a cutlass convertible. This 67 Plymouth satellite was in really great shape, as practically all of the cars were. Our friend Jim is at nearly every show with his 1928 Vili. There's that darn Starfire again. Who let that guy in here? And here's the A&W Chrysler Cruiser. It has a big engine for plenty of go. We're back to the out-of-towner cars now. This caddy really caught my eye. I would guess it's about a 1950 model, a four-door sedan. Here's a nice custom 37 Ford. Did they ever do a nice job on this? Seems like there are little deuce coupes, 32 Fords here and there and all over the place at every show you go to. This thing, I call it a thing because it really made a lot of noise. It was a ground shaker to say the least. Looks like a 67 vet to me. The headers are real and you need earplugs to be anywhere around it. It has a big block 427. Remember I was talking about uh, three little coupes that looked almost identical? Well, here's the third one. It finally showed up. And that's about it for the out-of-towners. We're glad they came. We're glad they came and enjoyed our cruise night together with us. I hope they had fun. Now, the rest of these car shots and motorcycle shots are the locals. Isn't that cute? They have training wheels. It's getting on later in the evening. People are starting to leave. 
but the show still goes on. The temperature is much cooler at 80 degrees, and the humidity is lower as well. Also, the clouds keep the sun from being too bright. It's a perfect evening to be out enjoying the cars. Fortunately, the rain has held off. Is there no dignity left anywhere in the world? Look what they've done to Grandpa's pride and joy. And showing up for Sunday church in this, Grandma would not be amused. On that note, we'll join Mary and the Bear for another wander around the parking lot before calling it an evening. It has been a lot of fun. Thanks for viewing. I hope you enjoyed.